is the perfect love story this past Valentine's Day for one lucky puppy. And here in today's Forever Family, we have Dr. Jonathan Stack, Dr. Gabby Wallace, and Lauren Phillips, as well as Olive here today. Welcome, guys. Thank you. So Olive has a very lucky Valentine's Day story, I hear. So tell me a little bit about how Olive came to the Uvise um, Vet Hospital. Sure. She was actually brought in by one of our graduates, Dr. Alan Hodap, who works at Chester Veterinary Hospital down in Chester, Illinois. He actually found the murmur on her. He was doing a screening for a, a poodle breeder. And after that, she'd already had a home, but that person was interested in breeding her. After they found the murmur, they said, no thanks. Oh. So he took it upon himself to actually bring her to U of I, and we did the echocardiogram and actually diagnosed what her actual congenital heart defect was, was a PDA. And he was very, very generous and decided to pay for her procedure to have it fixed because wow. he just got attached to her in the one day that he'd known her. Well, and looking at her, who would not get attached to this puppy? Oh, my goodness. So, um, Gabby, tell me a little bit about the procedure itself because you've got some some uh, some tool there. Devices, yeah. Yes. So the procedure, essentially, that what a PDA is, is it's uh, an abnormal connection between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. And that connection exists normally when a baby or a puppy uh, is in the womb and then when they breathe their first breath that should normally close but in in dogs and in people too sometimes it, it doesn't close and so our job is to close it and so we have a device called an ACDO which is a complicated acronym for Amplatz canine ductal occluder oh I use that all the time yeah I'm very familiar rolls okay. right off the top yes. Um, and so essentially what we do is we go in through the femoral artery and we snake this up into the aorta and we have a 3D model of the oh. heart here with that has a PDA. So it takes a bit of finagling. Yep. Um, but essentially what we do is we, uh, is this we got this? Yeah, we yep. can pass this. So this is the aorta over here and this is the main pulmonary artery. So this is the main blood vessel that goes to the lungs and the connection exists between the aorta and this vessel, and it should close right after birth. So as soon as you take your first breath, that vessel should close because it's not needed anymore. Um, but if it stays around, blood just keeps recirculating inside the heart and around in the lungs, and then the dogs can go into heart failure. So if this had gone untreated, it would have not been a good outcome for all of here, I'm guessing. No, most dogs will usually die within their first year of life or so with this yeah. with this congenital defect. So it's good that she got it fixed. Yeah, and it's good for Lauren down there yeah. who now has a new forever friend. Yes. So you fell in love with um, little all of here. Yeah, I mean, how could you not? And it was Valentine's Day, so it was right? just appropriate. <laughs> and you're a vet student. Mm -hmm. So um, what did you think about all of upon hearing her story? Uh, I mean, again, it was a really quick decision. I just saw her and I heard they were fixing her and I got to watch the surgery on the screen outside of the OR and yeah, I couldn't say no, so. Oh my goodness, yeah. you look at that face. So yeah. she is a poodle, mm -hmm. right? So I'm guessing um, the owner relinquished her because of the breeding Correct. Right? Yeah. Yep. That just wouldn't be good, so. And, and Dr. Hodap did not need another dog, so he <laughs> wanted us to find a student to take her home. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it, we are so fortunate here in Central Illinois to have um, you guys at the U of I because this is one of the only places in Illinois where this procedure could have even been um, done. Yep, that's correct. Wow. The other benefit is that it is less expensive at the U of I often, and so we get a lot of people who come to us that, you know, are struggling with funds, and all of us have thousands of dollars just lying around, and right. we are able to, to help them and, and get the procedure done, which is really nice. Well, yeah, okay, so what's her, her life expectancy now? Is she good to go and? Full life expectancy, normal dog. Normal dog. She's fixed. Oh, and she's got a great loving mom now um, to, to spend her days with. Well, thank you so much for sharing this story. This is so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, I love that dog. <laughs> if you need any more information about the U of I's Veterinary Hospital um, and their services, definitely head to CILiving.tv after today's show. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Okay, we're checking now with Tim.